Let's bring in one of the Pro Tools Essential Loops to the drums track. Go to the Window menu and select Workspace. Click the Search button, type Essential Loops, and press Enter. Double-click the Pro Tools Essential Loops folder. You can click the Triangles to open folders, and you can click the Speaker icon to audition loops. Make sure this metronome icon is green so the loops will be matched to the tempo of your song. Find one you like, and then drag and drop the file to the left of the drums track in the edit window. Drop it on the far left so the audio begins at the start of the track and on beat. You can easily make this loop repeat by duplicating it. The loop should already be selected. If not, come up here and select this hand tool. Click an empty spot to make sure nothing is selected, and then click the loop to select it. Press Ctrl D or Command D on a Mac to duplicate the region. In Pro Tools, you can use the spacebar to start and stop playback. Go ahead and use spacebar to audition the loop. Let's prepare to record some audio. Switch back to the mixer by pressing Ctrl equal or Command equal on Mac. I've got a guitar hooked up to the quarter inch guitar input on the fast track, so I'm going to click to record enable the rhythm guitar track. If you have a microphone hooked up and want to record your voice, or if you want to use a mic to record an acoustic guitar or guitar amplifier, click to record enable the mono audio track on the right. Play your guitar or sing into your mic. I'm playing my guitar, but I'm not getting any input in Pro Tools, and you're probably not seeing any input either. Look at the I.O. section here in the middle. The rhythm guitar track is set for input 1, but the quarter inch guitar input is actually input 2. I'm going to click and change that. Okay, now I've got input. The mono audio track is set for input 2, but the XLR mic input is actually input 1. Go ahead and change that if you're going to record with a mic. Now, depending on where you set the mix knob, you may be hearing your direct input signal, you may be monitoring through Pro Tools, or both. Turn the mix knob all the way to the left and you will only hear your direct input signal. If you were to start recording, you would not be able to hear the drum loop as you record. Turn the mix knob all the way to the right and you will be monitoring through Pro Tools. And if you've record armed the rhythm guitar track, you'll be hearing the effect of the Sansamp preamp plugin. When monitoring through Pro Tools, you may notice a slight delay. This is because the audio you are monitoring is going into the computer, through Pro Tools, and back to the fast track before you hear it. This delay can be reduced by lowering the buffer size. Go to the Setup menu and select Playback Engine. Click the drop-down for the hardware buffer size and select the next lowest setting, and then click OK. If you still notice a delay, try lowering the buffer size again. As you lower the buffer size, your computer has to work harder to process everything. As you add more tracks and effects, you may need to come back and raise the buffer size to compensate for this. Okay, now that we're all set up, let's switch back to the edit window and record. Click the record enable and return to zero buttons. You can use the space bar to start and stop recording, and when you're done, you can use the space bar to start and stop playback of your recording. When you need to add more tracks for your mic or guitar, go to the Track menu and choose New. You want to create mono audio tracks, so choose how many and click Create. You can double-click a track's name to rename it, then click OK. You can continue building your song by adding loops, recording tracks, adjusting the mix, and more. For more information on recording, editing, and mixing in Pro Tools, check out the Intro to Pro Tools guide found under the Help menu.